Hello, everyone. It's time for the largest parade in Oklahoma. The 95th annual 89ers Day Parade from beautiful and historic downtown Guthrie, America. The live stream for today's parade is powered by Strive Wellness Lounge, now with two locations to serve you better, in Guthrie and Stillwater. For more info, check them out online at strivewellnesslounge.com. Elevate your well-being by visiting Strive Wellness Lounge today. Now let's go live to beautiful downtown Guthrie with your host for the broadcast of today's parade, Brittany Timmons, CEO and President of the Greater Guthrie Chamber of Commerce, along with Chris Evans, owner of GuthrieNewsPage.com. for serving the community in such a big way and jumping right in and congrats, gonna, congrats gonna, on their first year of business. Yeah, we're going to yeah. start over. The audio wasn't on. Oh, okay. So Let's gonna, do it. Hey, three, two, one. Hello and welcome to the Guthrie 89er Parade here in beautiful downtown Guthrie along with the CEO and president of the Guthrie Chamber of Commerce, Brittany Timmons. I'm Chris Evans. So glad you're with us on this Saturday afternoon. And Brittany, we were watching the weather reports five, six days in advance and it was not looking good. No. And here we are. Yeah. It worked out. It worked out. There was like 6% chance of rain. Uh, then it slowly went down, down, down. And now it's a little windy like it always is. But right. But, hey, we'll take this over some rain showers. Absolutely. So. Yes. The parade is about a block or two from our location, which is right in front of Strive Wellness Lounge. And, boy, we can't thank Tina and Steph enough for what they do for our community. Absolutely. And they are the Guthrie Chamber of Business of the Year. So yeah. and they just celebrated one year in business offering uh, lots of wellness and um, health care uh, options for people and making people feel good, which is super important. Yeah, I got the B12 shots. Yes. They got the IVs if you needed a little uh, hydration and a bunch of great stuff. And they even got some cute animals in there you can they go say hi always, to. Always, yeah. always some cute animals. So. Right here on the uh, 100 block of East uh, Oklahoma Avenue as uh, we are now here. It looks like we were having... We'll talk about the canopy here a little bit. Well, we have an issue with the wind, but it does look like the big flag is here today. It is. Being led by our Guthrie PD. Thank you so much for all that our PD does for yeah. us. Main camera. There you go. <laughs> and uh, ch check it out. Sheriff Devereaux's decked out for 89ers. Yes. <laughs> There's a rumor he's going to oh. be in a rodeo tonight. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm a little nervous about his uh, his safety, but he tells me he's good to go. So thank you, Sheriff Devereaux, for all that you do for our county. So happy to have him help and lead off the parade. Yeah, newly elected. He doesn't uh, have uh, to go through an election. Didn't so even have to mess he's in. <laughs> <laughs> we wish him luck at the rodeo tonight. So. Absolutely. Which, speaking of the rodeo, it is great that that road is back. Yes. Yes. Uh, Bobby Kane has done a great job bringing that uh, event back. It's IPRA. I think I got those letters right. Rodeo at the Logan County Fairgrounds tonight. So if you want to see Sheriff Devereaux in action, that is where you can do that. So. Bill? All right, and here's the big flag. Yes, it, I love the big flag. We were talking about the flag earlier. We 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 we, we have, we're underneath the canopy, just glare and, and protect our stuff. And a big thank you to Eric Little, Steph, and uh, uh, Justin Fortney helping us get this secured somehow. I feel safe. Yes. that it's not going to blow down on air <laughs> fall over. The wind on has us. died down <laughs> a little bit, but uh, yeah. But uh, there's the uh, here comes the flag. Yep. 
Here comes the big flag. And this provides a super cool shot too every year. There's several people that try to get this picture of this flag either via drone yes. or from one of our buildings in downtown so and we were fighting our canopy i couldn't imagine I, fighting this right. flag i know up and down as you see the great shot there yes Eighty nine er Queen and Princess, there they are. I know. They've done a great job representing Guthrie this week and, and really for the past couple of weeks they've been on TV. They've done some promo videos. Um, they've been doing lots of appearances and representing Guthrie very well uh, for eighty nine ers, so Happy to have our queen always, and princess. Yeah, always an honor to be yes. a queen or princess. Then we've got our queens from the past here. And then this year's parade marshals. Andy and Vanjie Goddard, thank you so much for their service and uh, being our parade marshal for this year's parade. We've got the Blue Star families. Again, we thank them for their service. Everyone be sure to uh, cheer them on and thank them for, for their service. This country wouldn't be what it is today without people like them. No doubt. And we got a little little block here but do have some news pistol pete not making it today. not making it today so for our osu fans we're sorry said not feeling well is that because maybe ou's playing their spring game today you know, and it came i don't know natural? i mean most people if you know me personally know which way i go on that but <laughs> no boomer sooner but no we were we were very sad i got the text this morning yeah. um i help coordinate pistol pete every year and so i was super bummed to uh, get the text that he was not feeling well and uh, so we're not going to have pistol pete today so we're sorry to disappoint there but we try. Yeah, maybe, maybe, so maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next he's, year. He's been here for several years. Absolutely, so. yeah, done a good yeah. job. So, yeah, uh, won't have him today, but uh, got a great parade list. Uh, you know, we got the layout today, and there's a bunch of great folks. And uh, we heard from deputies up and down the uh, Oklahoma Avenue that uh, it's a great crowd. Great crowd. They said a lot of people were waiting kind of till the last minute, but yeah. hey, I probably would too, waiting on that weather. So, no doubt, happy to have the crowd that we do today. And now we see some more. Lots of horses. Yes. Lot and Ranger, I think is what their chap said. <laughs> Former Governor George Nye. Boy, he's still sharp, too. Yes. He was uh, in Guthrie at a little small ceremony this morning. A lot of four former governors uh, there this morning. Hopefully all four are here today as well. Right behind him, former Governor okay. David Walters. Good to see the governor back here Riding in, in some pretty Jeeps. <laughs> I would certainly think this is not their first 89er parade. No, probably not <laughs> literally their first rodeo. So. No, exactly. <laughs> Happy to have them uh, in our parade and visiting Guthrie today. And another one, third governor, Frank Keating on that far side, driven by Cheryl, Cheryl Tarter. Tarter. Yes. The governor. The governor's out of work. You didn't find the camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a whole bunch of youngsters across the way, but didn't find the camera. So uh, now we got a, a line full of great cars coming here. Looks like yep. we got our another fourth governor coming on. Former Governor Brad Henry being escorted by First Christian Church Pastor Ronnie Fields and his wife Kim. And uh, there is he found he knows the camera. Yes, from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Yeah, I love the that. Governor, yeah. There's our own uh, Rep Tally and Rep Duel. 
Colin Doyle, he was here. He was running this morning in the, uh, in the he run. He literally ran in the 5K and then showed up at a uh, reception this morning. And uh, he wasn't too winded either. I heard he, I heard he plays first in his age division. Yep. So. Cindy Bird just drove by, state yes. auditor. Mischievous is the name of this vehicle. Yeah. Here comes Senator Chuck Hall and John Pfeiffer. Representing Logan County and Guthrie Well, the capital. Representative. They're, they're into the candy today. Look at, I mean, they're, they're having their work cut out for them. <laughs> Representative Denise Crossway Hader in an Eskridge vehicle. Thank you, Eskridge Auto Group. They love being in Guthrie and serving the community well. Some nice looking vehicles there from Eskridge. And there's Casey the Stream, the OSU president, so she's representing today. Even though Pistol Pete couldn't come, we've got. OSU President Casey Shrum. Got the uh, orange blazer yes. going as well. Good to see the president yes. here. She's always rocking the colors. Yes, she, she is. is. She is. Orange so. heels, orange yes. blazer, orange earrings. Yes. She's got it all. Miss Oklahoma Sunny Day. Um, I found out this morning she was actually the oldest um, Miss Oklahoma. They extended the age, and she's the oldest. She is a sixth grade teacher, bilingual teacher in Oklahoma City. So Very yes. cool. Terry Moore with Guthrie Job Corps. Here comes Miss Grace Westbrook. 100 years young. Imagine. Love that. <laughs> In a John Vance Wagoneer there. I love how Eskridge and Vance both, you know, support great vehicles for the parade. I think one of them might be a rodeo clown. I remember. Oh, yeah. I've maybe seen so. Them around. They didn't have a sign on there, so. Play they're incognito. Looking great in their colors there on horseback. American Legion and uh, Brittany can't say enough. You know, the American Legion overlooks a bunch of these 89 yes. events. And, um, he is from, that's the state commander there for the American Legion. So, so happy to have him in Guthrie today. Looks like on the horizon. That we was see Brett that. Martin, okay. state, state commander of the American Legion. I was trying to find my notes there. Yeah. So, representing today. And then we have our friends from Post 58 right here in Guthrie. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for your service. I see the Guthrie High School band on the horizon after the American Legion group, so that's always one of the yes. parade favorites is that Guthrie High School band. And when they come marching through, hopefully we'll get to hear that fight song, but we will pipe down. That would be perfect him. timing if yes, they, it would if be they awesome. perform that right there, right here for us. So. It's more of our great Legion yes. members. Legionnaires. And you see the department commander. Mm-hmm. People don't realize how tough, and uh, you do, uh, getting vehicles together. And, yes. You know, uh, that, that's, that's a lot of work. It is. You Group see. from 70 Bice's office, Congresswoman Bice. Yeah, she represents just. Represents our area. Just got our area a couple of years ago. Hoping to land some money for the airport. Big, big uh, project out there if it goes through all the federal yes. spending votes and all that good stuff. There's a helicat. Yep. 
beautiful. <laughs> I've seen one or two at John Vance. <laughs> and then there was one that wasn't there. <laughs> but it came back. <laughs> it came back. It came back. Yes. Oklahoma National Guard. First Lieutenant Damon Lee Hans. Yes. Has his years of service on there. Great to see so many veterans here today and, and honoring them. War, World II veteran, Jerry McCreary, the Navy. Here we have our friends from the VFW, post 4578. I is, know her. I know her too. That's Commander <laughs> and uh, Auxiliary President. Uh, that's Doug and Jamie Newton. Serves our community well and, and does a lot for veterans through the VFW. They also have a float. They That was Commander and Auxiliary President coming through, but they have a, vo a, a nice float coming through later. Get some crowd shots here as Aaron can take a look at some of the crowd here that has lined up and down Oklahoma Avenue. There you see some parade goers. A little bundled yes. up today. A little bundled up. That's all right, though. It'd be okay if it wasn't for the wind, but I know. for what we thought was going to be coming. We don't have gloves on, so we're making That's it. True. That's we true. Had, we had gloves on last year. I, I think, I, I, think you, I even had a scarf. You always have gloves on. So <laughs> we're <laughs> the fact that we're surviving without that. Yes. It's good. Yes. It's good. So we'll, we'll take it. So here comes the Guthrie High School Band. That's a great shot right there. Coming through beautiful downtown Guthrie. They're looking sharp today, too, in their full uniforms. Yeah, yes. I like it. One of the drum majors, Jet Robbins, just signed a uh, to, to play at Oklahoma City University. Oh, wow. In their class, the uh, music class. There yes. you go. I always like those headlines. Uh, Robbins signs to be a star. Star, yes. <laughs> that, that works out nicely. Here's the Guthrie High School Band. We'll take it all in here. Uh, our friends from the city of Guthrie here, proud sponsor in many, many ways of the 89ers celebration. Look at that, our own city manager driving. driving it is city I stuff. love that. Shonda Joe gets the top. Forty's yes. working. There's Dan the planner. Yes, Dan the planner. Forty passing Got the out tourism. goodies. Oh, we're getting candy thrown oh. at us. <laughs> and then uh, followed by uh, Guthrie's Territorial Christmas Foundation. We've got the governor and junior governor. I might be partial to the uh, junior governor there. We've got Connie Thomason, the governor and junior governor, Aubrey Timmons. There we see a good shot of them right My there. My own Aubrey Timmons. So this is her final uh, appearance, oh. I think, as, as junior governor and, okay. and Connie's as governor. So anyway, Interceptor 4 from News 4 representing today. Now, now, I I do listen to a lot of country music. There's Bill Reed. I think we'll get. Uh, well, that's Channel Four right now. <laughs> we'll work on getting Bill Reed here. I need some Tracy Lawrence tickets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> we we talked uh, at the state fairgrounds. Uh, he, he almost got me backstage tickets, but uh, yeah. there's Bill Reed right there, the Wolf. Uh, 99.7 yes. here. The that's Czech Queen and Junior Queen. Um, they're out of. Um, Prague, right? Is that right? I the think they do right. the Czech Festival? There they are yeah. on your screen. Kalachis. They're Ooh, famous yes. for the Kalachis. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So our friends representing there, the Czech culture, and dressed up in their great outfits. So. Oh, here's the reenactors. So there's Pistol Pete right there. We, we've got Pistol Pete. He, oh, yeah. Frank Eaton. That's Frank Eaton. Yes. But, but also known as Pistol Pete. So there we there go. There they coming up on yes. your screen right there. Bass Reeves is on there. 
love having the reenactors every year. They bring some fun to 89ers. They so sure do. Watch out. They've got a jail. So we, you and I have our buttons on. We do but have our buttons. We're safe. Don't be caught without your button. You might end up in their, in their jail. So Looks like we got a block or two of a... Of a little weight here. It looks like we got some dancers. I think maybe the Langston. I think that's the Langston band. Um, it is the yes. Langston band, and whew, I'm we, excited. <laughs> we were so disappointed last year. I, I think they were. Were they here last they year? They were here last year. They've okay. been here the last since the pandemic. They've okay. been here. So well, their band's fantastic. Their men's basketball team. <sighs> oh my gosh! Seconds away. What from a heartbreak of yes. a loss, but just to get there. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing, and. uh um, led by AD Danita Rogers, who yep. serves here in the community. She's I'm a little partial. She serves on my board, and so happy to have her um, and and their leadership at Langston and and their partnership. You know, a lot of Langston students they're in Guthrie all the time. They work yeah. in Guthrie. You know, Guthrie is another home for them. So we love having Langston so close by. So get ready for this band, you all. They are absolutely amazing and very entertaining. Yeah, I saw Coach Wright, the men's basketball coach uh, in Walmart. It was a, a few days after the uh, national championship game, and uh, I, I almost went up to him. I was like, eh, I, th I don't know if it's too soon or <laughs> too not. Soon, yeah. uh, coaches, as your brother is a basketball yes. coach, they uh, it, it eats at him for a little bit. So right. I, I let him get his groceries. and uh, Just let him be. We'll let yeah. him be for now. But so. congratulations, yes. Coach Wright and, and, and the uh, Langston basketball team. Also, the women's basketball team. They both had a wonderful yes. record, and I got to catch a game and watch both teams play. Mm -hmm. So much fun in the atmosphere in, uh, in their um, – gym and just from everything from the band and the night I went was Greek night so a lot of the uh, fraternity sororities uh, were out and it was it was just a lot of fun so I highly recommend if you haven't been over to Langston to attend really any of their events or sporting um sporting events you definitely need to go yeah, because yeah. I've, I've been to a football game so much fun you get to see these folks right here perform and uh, we're glad you're watching us here on uh, Guthrie News Page YouTube and Guthrie News Page Facebook. Let us know where you're watching from, and we'll try to get some of you, uh, some shout-outs here. Uh, we're going to have to use Brittany's phone because uh, my service is not as good as Brittany's service today anyway. Today. So let us know where you're watching from, and we'll be glad to give you a shout-out okay. as we take in the Langston Marching Band. Yes. Put our L's up, Chris. Got them. Got them up. Got them up. <laughs> Represent. The golden felines are always so much fun to watch. We have, oh wow, we've got, as, as we expected, but we've got some people from Fort Worth, Texas. Cool. We've got some friends watching from Franklin, Kentucky. Nice. They said, um, Linda Northup said, miss my hometown in 89 So glad she can watch the live stream today. So. Yeah, that's a lot, of, a lot of great things as the Langston Band finishes up here. <laughs> We, we appreciate them making a trip over here to Guthrie again and, and perform. But, uh, yeah, Look this at that cutie on the horse. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> of course, uh, the streets are lined up with everyone who lives here and who don't live too far. But there are folks who can't make it out because they simply live too far and kind of glad to provide this service where they can kind of see the – the, the buildings yeah. and, the, and the people. And we've got some Gregory, uh, some more friends watching from all over. Gregory from Pagosa Springs, Colorado. Um, of our friends watching just from up north at work in Stillwater. Okay. So, Arkansas. Yeah, L.C. Brown. Good to see you watching the broadcast. Yeah. Appreciate that. Kyle, Kylie Welch. So, Annie said she's watching her niece in the Junior ROTC Color Guard. J-R-O-T-C Color Guard. Awesome. Yep. Keep the comments coming. We love this. Yeah, so Dana, fun to see Dana from where you're watching from. Uh, I know you mentioned Fort Worth, but yeah. uh, Dana. We got a 
A little gap here, but you can see some horses. <laughs> Maybe they'll show off a little bit. <laughs> that horse is saying, come on, friend, let's go. There we go. <laughs> Brittany, I think we're going to be joined by some guests here that you you might some know. Some distinguished guests, yes. We'll let you get that, Brittany. Yes, so we have our 89er queen and 89er princess here. So how are you, you girls go ahead and introduce yourselves and I'm tell Lauren us how it's Styler. going. Hi, Lauren. Um, this has been a very, very fun week so far. Um it's getting towards the end, but I really, really enjoyed the parade. It's been my favorite part so far. What's been your favorite part? Definitely the parade. It was fun. Yes, you all looked beautiful, and I know, you know, you, you both have talked about when I've seen you at various events throughout this week that how riding in the parade was something you were really looking forward to and being on your own horses and, mm -hmm. and getting uh, to do that right here mm -hmm. in your hometown. Both, both students at Guthrie High School. So has this week been busier than you expected? So busy. Busier <laughs> like than expected? I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How yeah, many pictures have you been in? Um, <laughs> just 16,427, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. yada, yada, yada. Yeah, just a few. So, yeah. yeah. Oh. So we have, yeah, Lauren Steiner and then Piper Gann is our 89er princess. So, and you, uh, what, what grade are you again, Lauren? I'm a You're senior. senior, that's yes. right. So not much left here. It's almost over. No. <laughs> what are your plans for after after high school um i'm going to attend osu okc okay and pursue a career in sonography okay very, very cool. cool we uh obviously we're, we're stuck in this spot which is we're glad to be here we can see everything <laughs> right. up, up close but uh you've seen the entire parade parade mm -hmm. what, what's the uh, route a lot of people today or there was a lot yeah. yeah um as we went over the next block there wasn't as many people but there's still quite a few um i didn't expect it to be this big but i mean <laughs> here's everybody yes. is yes well, you all are representing well. So what's been your favorite part this week, Piper? The parade has been so much fun. It's a blast getting to see all the floats and everybody come out and support Guthrie and all of our businesses. It's been really fun. Awesome. What was it like to be selected? I, 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 that, there's so many people, so many candidates. What was it like to be selected? Um, I felt really honored. <laughs> um, I do. I did not expect it to be. Whenever I signed up for this, I was like, "Oh, it's just another little thing." This has been a, it's a blast. Big thing. It's. <laughs> I didn't realize how much of a community Guthrie was. It's really opened my eyes to how we're a great community. I love it. Yeah, I, I saw Dr. Mike Simpson earlier, so don't worry about him. But it missed a lot of school this week. <laughs> Are we out of school? Or did you no, miss did a lot you of school? school? Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell nobody that. That was, that was a secret. We won't tell anybody, yes. we promise. Yeah. So. Okay. Got a lot of homework to do, maybe. Well, we got Friday off for That's snow true. days, so That's right. I didn't miss there anything Friday. Well, you guys did a fantastic yes. job. Congratulations on the Queen and Princess Thank you titles. So Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day. You too. Yes. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Congratulations. Appreciate them stopping by. All right, got some. We got our little gap filled here. Got some dancers. Thanks again to our friends at Strive Wellness Lounge. Yes. Helping us with literally behind the scene things. We are literally <laughs> powered by, by <laughs> Strive Wellness. Literally. Literally. Yes. They can power you through electricity and through hydration. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Now, Brittany, you ride many horses back in the day? I, no. No, I, okay. I have, I did learn to ride when okay. I was about Aubrey's age, so nine nine or ten and um my neighbors had horses growing up so i i got to ride a little bit but as by yourself by myself okay yeah. i did learn yes by myself um and then i've i've ridden a few times as an adult but it's been a while i would love to yeah. i would love to i tell my head if you're watching tell my husband i want a horse no, i don't have anywhere to keep a horse i don't know i don't they're not allowed in the neighborhood but i do love horses my daughter uh, has a love for rodeo she's very very into uh, watching rodeo and and uh, so I have mad respect for for those that ride and 
rodeo. Now, so. Have you ever ridden a bull for eight seconds? Absolutely not. <laughs> so more power to you, Sheriff Devereaux. Cause, He's trying. Oh, my goodness. He's trying. Oh, my goodness. This cow is literally giving kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, up close and personal with that. Yes. Great shot there by Bill. Bill's working our camera, Bill, our wireless camera today, Bill Miracle. Aaron Ryburn switching, producing, all that great stuff, all the great Takes graphics. It does. All of our openings and, and closings. And I'm learning this now. Yes. On this side of things. <laughs> yes. Uh, our, 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 a huge shout out to our engineers, uh, Eric Little, Steph, <laughs> Hartzell, and uh, Justin Forney. Our canopy is doing great. It's it holding is. up great. It, so. it was blowing crazy. And I think <laughs> this might be the end of this uh, canopy. A little oh. snap over here. We've so had to bring in some reinforcements. Yeah. It's we right. have brought in some reinforcements here. But uh, there's the wind right there as we were just talking about no wind. But uh, looks like we got some more dancers coming up on the way. Yes. Still got... You know, this parade has usually gone for about an hour and a half, two hours. So I, I, I certainly think by looking at this, we're ahead of the same I think so. distance today. I think so, too. Any other great folks checking us uh, out? Watching. So we have Lisa said so this is the United Parade. Peggy is watching from Hutchinson, Kansas. We agree that Lauren has done a wonderful job as 89er Queen. Uh, Cassandra's watching from Tennessee. That's cool. So thank you for broadcasting. You're absolutely welcome. Glad that you are joining us today. Yes, Heidi, post 4578 with VFW has been represented. We're excited to see their float come later on. We've got some the Chattanooga. She was being specific on her location in Tennessee. Okay. So awesome. The more bands, the better. I, I think so, too. I love the bands. Love the bands. Love the bands. So, a little history. Years ago, I had the honor of being in the Macy's Day Parade, performing in the Macy's Day Parade, and uh, in 2003, and my favorite part was all of the bands. It was yes. so much fun. So much fun watching them. So, we love. Um, this is a band out of Oklahoma City. I'm trying to find my notes here. Tracy Williams, Councilman Tracy Williams, watching from his warmth and comfort of his office. Watching from Glenna's, watching from Centerton, Arkansas. Joy's watching from Yukon. Carlanda's watching from Rush Springs, Oklahoma. Rush Springs. So. I, I just drove through Rush Springs uh, last week. Okay. Uh, yeah. Last Saturday. Our, oh, yes. There's our own uh, Sunny Ojeda on the, on the uh, scoot ski is what he calls that. Scoot ski. That's a scoot ski. Uh, we're working on it. There it is. Yes. There's that shot. <laughs> Scoot Sunny safe. with SCORE um, Marketing, SCORE Property Management, uh, Chamber Investor, um, loves promoting all things Guthrie. Sunny's everywhere promoting Guthrie. So. All right, then we have our friends from Veteran Flags by Vets, um, nonprofit organization, and a little bit about them. They are the Guthrie Chamber Nonprofit of the Year. Led by Chris Morgan. Led by Chris Morgan. He's right there, Chris. With, with the flag. Uh, with the flag, Chris. Pulls out veterans throughout the parade. Got it right now, Brittany. Thanks them for their service. Look at that right here. Yeah. And a uh, little backstory here. These flags are made uh, by veterans. And hence the name Veteran Flags by Vets. And they gift. There's just got to gift They gift one. these. Yes, absolutely amazing. They've got some music here. Shout out to Dunnigan Farms there. It says eat more beef for Dunnigan Farms. There you so, go. yes. Thank you, Veteran Flag by Vet. If you're looking for ways to help, uh, they are looking for donations so that they continue their work. So, thanks again and congratulations to them on being Nonprofit of the Year. Yeah, there you see some patriotic music. Toby Keith music being played from the back of that. Bill did a good job of catching that for us. Our friends from Cattleman's Steakhouse. Boy, that sounds so good. I was right like, now. and now I'm hungry. <laughs> so, yes. 
Love that wagon. Super fun. Yeah, that's that that wagon. I, I'd be curious how many years in a row that wagon that, has made right. it made it through these streets here. I do feel like I see them every year. So. Yes, yes. All there right, you. coming up next we have Dance oh, with Me. Yeah, Dance with Me. Right here in Guthrie, Oklahoma, Dance with Me Dance Studio, led by Miss Nancy. Uh, been in business a long time. Been teaching dancers for a long time. Happy to are. have them. All the smiling faces. Yes, and all. And uh, uh, I'm going to bet these are some dance parents walking behind there. Uh, they deserve a shout support. out, right? So I, I, that's why I <laughs> I can feel, I feel them. So dance yes. parents. Yes. So thank you to our friends that dance with me. There you see them walking through. St. Paul Baptist Church out of Meridian, just down the way there, off 105. Yes. And so love to have that representation from the community of Meridian, Oklahoma. Our friends in the eastern so. portion of the county. Yes. Watching from Wellington, Kansas. Thank you, Jacqueline. Yes. That's awesome. Um, someone's watching from Silver Dollar City. Wow. That's cool. Tell us what your favorite ride is. I love Silver Dollar City. That's a fun family atmosphere up there in Branson. So. It's been a while since I've been there. It's fun. Me too. Yeah. No. Well, actually, I'll be in Branson in a couple weeks for a chamber conference. There you but go. I don't know if I'll get to go to Silver Dollar or not. We'll see. Nice little tractor. Yes. Um, there's our friends from the Oklahoma Sports Heritage Museum right here in Guthrie. If you have not been to the sports museum, you, look, you can what talk a little, you, more, a little bit more about that. Yeah. They, they got They're everything awesome. from rodeo to baseball to basketball. They got a great baseball collection. Collection of, yeah, rodeo. Ba Just yeah, baseball is probably their largest collection. Yes. But really all different sports representative Oklahomans that have uh, succeeded and done well in their sports and it's located right here in downtown Guthrie yeah, right just a couple, couple blocks away on Oklahoma Avenue across so from City Hall across from City Hall so it. yep I bet they'll be open today so absolutely go in there and check that out it's a great place to take your kids and and look around so thank you to the sports museum honorary military of course that's the uh, honor military and families is the theme this year and we see the Guthrie Public School Transportation Department decking out yes. one bus 66. We love that. I think they always enter a bus and decorate it. So absolutely love that. Thank you, Guthrie Public Schools. And I mean, without the Transportation Department, well, <laughs> things just would not go as smooth as they do. So Exactly right. Back of the bus you see there. Thank you for all your service. That was Laura. Laura McKeever driving that bus. So. Awesome. Full Gospel Fellowship Church of God from right here in Guthrie, one of our many great churches here that serves the community. And as you see, we got a little bit of a break then. Again, we want to thank Stripe Wellness Lounge. We are broadcasting right outside their doors as they literally power us up. And uh, maybe we can get some crowd shots. Uh, Bill can see some crowd shots. Uh, a lot of kids fighting over some candy. Now they gotta be careful. There's some yes. debris. They got a little bit of. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's yes. some debris some in the roadway. Parade debris that might not smell good on your shoes later. So watch out for that. This drive will be open today. If if you need a IV, if you're feeling feeling kind of down or. What? Not filling and a lot of energy. Strive can definitely help with that. So be sure to stop by right next to Boomerang here on Oklahoma Avenue. Yeah, this second year in a row we've been out in front of Strive. It's Tina a good location. It is a good location. Okay, we have some friends watching from just up the road a little bit in Orlando. Oklahoma. Um, I marched in the parade from night. Vicky says I marched from 1972 to 1975. Go Falcons. She was with Millwood High School. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, Millwood has been, uh, their band has been here multiple times. Yes, very cool. Yes, Michelle, we agree. It is a great turnout and uh, class of 1988. Coming up next, here in a few moments, we'll have our Diamond Divas. And 
they got to put on a dance a little every now and then, so we kind of get backed up uh, from that. But well, we want them to be able to perform, yes. so we'll, we're okay with that. <laughs> Out of Oklahoma City, it's so fun to see different groups come to our parade to be part of it and uh, add to the fun. So it's definitely fun to see different communities represented. I was really surprised they were able to get the uh, the big flag out today. I'm glad they did it's such a big part of the it parade. Is. Yeah. It was like a workout for them. <laughs> I know. They're probably like, and we're tired. <laughs> but it definitely makes for some cool shots. One of my favorite photos, and, and I, I want to say he's Shelton maybe. I think that's right. Got it? it it's, it's an overview picture of the flag, and it's just awesome. Yeah. So. Down around second Oklahoma area, making that turn. Yes. And that, that is the parade route. If many of you watching this parade know the route, but it starts at the temple, makes its way toward the west here on Oklahoma Avenue. Then they'll turn on 2nd Street right by City Hall, post office area, and go head on 2nd Street. And head down to Harrison. Carnival's in town. That was started Wednesday. Yes. The we, we went two nights. Okay. So right. it was a lot of fun. It is really fun, though, on Wednesday and Thursday, a lot of the Guthrie – kids get together and and it's a lot of fun and then we usually have a lot of visitors start rolling in by friday night and saturday and so the kids look forward every year to the carnival and they do a great job i mean and guthrie pd and the sheriff's officer represented yep. well felt super safe and um, the area was clean and it, it was just great so if you haven't made it out for the carnival it i believe it opens at one o'clock today there's two different sets of wristbands, though. Let me two say sessions. that. Yes, you, two sessions. You get a wristband this afternoon, I think, till 5 o'clock. 1 to 5. 5 or 6. Yeah. Don't quote me and for sure. 6 to 11 or 5 then, to 11. Yeah. And then tonight. So if you buy one at 1 o'clock, you can't come back and use it this evening. You'll have to buy another one. But definitely several hours available for the carnival. Yeah, wristbands are $30 this year. Yes. All, in All you can ride for that, though. So I told my children, go ride as many times as you want. <laughs> so when they were riding, I think you were probably in the vendors in the food court area? Yes. First Street? That place is... Yes, uh, hopping. And now I'm hungry again yeah, yeah. because you've well, now mentioned food again. I so saw a corn dog corn behind dog you. Corn yeah. dog walking down the street. <laughs> 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 that, that's one of my favorites. Here so. comes the Taft Middle School Band. Yes, out of Oklahoma City. I love that. The, you know, middle school, these are probably six or six, fifth, sixth, seventh graders and... Love to see them working hard and uh, working on their talent here. So thank you to Taft Middle School Band for coming out today. Okay, so I'm, I, I was in Guthrie my time. You were in, you grew up in Sopulpa. So in Sopulpa, do they call it Sopulpa Junior High or Sopulpa Mid Middle School? We have both. You have both. Okay, Sixth so that's even weird. Sixth, seventh is middle school. Okay. Eighth and ninth is junior high. High school, 10 to 12. I changed schools a lot. Wow. Yes. In Guthrie, we call it Guthrie Junior, junior high, high. But when you go to other places, they don't call it Junior High. They call it Middle School. Right. But we have Middle School and Junior High in Sepulpa. Yeah. So. yeah. I don't know. That's even weird in Sepulpa. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one Arm Bandit and Company. So, yes, I've seen the one Arm Bandit, I think, perform before. It says 17-time Entertainer of the Year. So, I think I saw the one Arm Bandit at the Lazy E one time. Okay. So. Yeah, they said, let's rodeo. All right, next up, I can I can definitely yeah. talk about this group. Uh, this is the uh, Logan County Girl Scouts. So this is Servant Unit 608, um, comprised of girls starting in kindergarten all the way up through high school. So you have da uh, Daisies, Brownies, uh, Juniors, and Cadets. And... Um, Love, love, love what the Girl Scouts do. Um, teach the girls lots of things, but I'm not sure if you know, Chris, but these girls actually, they package bags that go to the food banks. They help with the Meals on Wheels, providing bags for Meals on Wheels. And there <laughs> <laughs> there's some of our Girl Scouts right there. They're from all different um, schools Hello, here in Guthrie. So, oh, yes, I heard, <laughs> I heard Brittany. <laughs> Hello, girls. Yes, so love having our Girl Scouts in the parade from Service Unit 608. They are recruiting. I was told to, to mention that. So if you have a girl interested, let us know. There's our friends from the Guthrie Masonic Lodge 35. representing different communities here in Logan County. 
as part of that launch. Absolutely. And we're, and we're trying to describe everything that comes through here. We do have a, a parade lineup on our sheets here. Some folks unable to make, some got shuffled all around. So yeah, so please forgive us yes. if we did not get them mentioned. We are trying our best here with the notes. And, and if you've ever coordinated a parade, then you'll understand. But there's a mini version of the uh, Sooner Schooner there. In loving memory of Fred Collins, it says, which is a, a Vietnam veteran. So there's some Boomer Sooner representation right there. Absolutely. All right. There's Here's Zach our friends, Allen. the Allens. Yes. Uh, with some royalty on there and his cool fire truck that he purchased and yes, uh, has been working on that. He just added the railing this week. I saw week. that. I saw I know. that. Zach works hard. He, he's a uh, sophomore junior here at Guthrie he's sophomore. High I think sophomore. he just, just signed a letter to go to Marine Technology. He did. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. So shout out to the Allen family. They, I could go on and on about all that they do for Guthrie. Yeah. So, there's yeah. an app out there called <laughs> Facebook that we get yes. a lot of our information, information from. Information from, yes. There's the Allens there's right there. There's some more Allen family. <laughs> See what, I'm, what I mean? So, Logan County League of Democratic Women organization, encourage everyone to register to vote. Make your voices be heard. Exercise that right. Do we have an election so, coming up in November? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't heard. I'm not sure I want to touch on that. No, I'm just kidding. And here's the Guthrie Junior High. Guthrie Junior High Band. Again, we love having our band students out. Right song. There it is. Um, we got Buddha, aka Dustin. Oh yeah. Watching from his office at John Mansauto Group. Oh, always, Wood, always Woodward. working. He's in Woodward today. It's true. Yeah. Breast Cancer Survivors of Oklahoma. This is an organization I've been I've been seeing them uh, do some things around Guthrie. Join together uh, with other survivors and and um, lift each other up and and serve others who are who are fighting the fight. So good to see Sharp Car. Yeah. Right behind them, Brittany is the Sooner Post four five seven eight VFW. Here they come, and um, I've got some notes on them today and um, this float is about heroes that have served and heroes that are waiting for them at home they have letters and they are composed of pictures of post members auxiliary family members and families that stood behind their soldiers and the vfw and the auxiliary are the oldest veteran service organization in the country and are still serving today and there's heidi mallow in the back yes heidi mallow with the chamber but today representing the vfw auxiliary as her dad is a veteran so very cool float with pictures of the heroes on there absolutely love that so there's the thank you vfw 4578 <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your service if you want more information um you can stop by the vfw you can stop by the chamber we can give you information on uh, joining the v all their services they provide or becoming an auxiliary member so that's fantastic. It is. Did a great job on their float. You know, oh my gosh, it's we really cool. About back in the day, uh, there used to be so many more floats, and times have changed. But uh, when you do see a float, they really stick out. Well, and I, I know personally how hard that they worked on, on the uh, VFW float. So. Oh, that was earlier. Yeah. Okay. We were muted for a brief, brief second. Okay. Yeah. At the beginning. Just checking. Yeah. That's why I think we had to do the uh, the second take when that happened. Okay. Yeah. I got some notes that we didn't have sound <laughs> on, my t on my phone and it made me nervous. So, good deal, good deal. Again, if you are joining us on the live stream, please comment and let us know where you're watching from. We've had friends from as far as Tennessee, Kentucky, yes, Texas, Arkansas. I think I've seen. So we'll see what other states we we have on here. And those are the folks watching on Facebook, and we're also streaming this. Oh right, I'm reading Facebook. So yeah. yes, yeah, and uh, see if we can get the YouTube comments up as well. My service provider so. is not uh, liking me today. And my service provider is helping me out greatly. 
<laughs> We're usually the other way around I on this know. deal. <laughs> What's going on? We will not like, mention any names. No, we will not. I don't, I don't like this way. I like the other way a lot better. <laughs> well, I got you, Chris. So, <laughs> there we go. The Lion's Den. It says Lion's Den. Encourage people to vote. YouTube comments. Are they on there? Still, Steph uh, with Strive helping us produce as well. Yeah, my uh, mine's working. It's just really, really slow. So we'll see if we get these comments here. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> neither, <laughs> was, neither was Steph. <laughs> uh, we have uh, one of my neighbors is watching from Cedar Valley, Linda. So, and then we have some friends, uh, Shailene, watching from Wellington, Kansas. Ooh, nice. Yes. Okay, I we got. I we got have someone loaded. watching from Kenya. That Kenya. wins. That wins the farthest award, I think, unless somebody on YouTube can top it. <laughs> wow, watching from Nairobi, Kenya. All right, I, I got some comments here. Uh, CRJ Designs says hi, Chris and Brittany. We have Miss Sophie Evans, a Guthrie student here. Driven by Mr. Jeff, and there's. Yes. Uh, National Avery Miss Wooding on the other side. Yes, Avery. National Miss National Supreme pageant. So those girls work hard. They, they get do. scholarships and you learn they learn public speaking. And we got our friends with uh, Guthrie Youth Ball here. Billy Darby leading the yep. uh, driving the truck. Yep. Got some of our ball players there right there. I see lots of Guthrie kids, lots of Guthrie, Guthrie kiddos on those on this float. So as we mentioned, Dustin Chamberlain watching from Woodward. Brittany, if you need to uh, knock me off, just let me know. I'm going to start okay. talking here. Cody Knox watching from Guthrie, America. Watching on the west side. Horse Hotel. KK's Horse Hotel. That would be a fun place. Aubrey would love that. Oh, yeah. Where they take care of the horses. <laughs> Christy's watching from Wellington, Kansas. Sisters in the parade. Uh, Katrina watching from Pittsburgh, California. Very cool. All right. Here we have our friends from Community Church. Um, another one of our great churches here in Guthrie. They, community is all about community, I'll tell you that. They love serving the Guthrie community and uh, love love God, love others is what their shirts say. And um, they do all kinds of good for the community. So, Bob Flynn says his, it's his first 80 hours since moving to Virginia. Thanks okay. for broadcasting. Now, now I still get a, to feel home for a day. There you go. We love that. Absolutely. Tim Coleman watching from... Tennessee. Another friend from Cedar Valley watching, not too far away. Representing from Guthrie, we have someone watching from Hawaii. Wow. Okay. Is it John Vance? <laughs> no, it's not John Vance. Anita will tell us how it is in Hawaii because it's probably a little sunnier and warmer there, but a little overcast here. Don't make us too jealous, so. Get to see some of the old model cars yes. here. We've got a line full of them, Sooner too. Sooner Model A Club. Yes. That's who this is. So there's quite a representation here today. I like these green wheels coming up here. Bill's, Bill's showing some yellow wheels. Upcoming next is some yes. green wheels. And then some red wheels. Beautiful cars. Not wheels. Rims, right? Rims. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. I don't know if they called them rims back when these were <laughs> <Yeah>. built. <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> maybe wills. <laughs> yeah. uh, Miss Gillette says so she's watching it just right around the corner at BG's. She said, go Guthrie. I was wearing a hat from BG's yesterday, and someone asked, where did you get that hat? Yes. And I said, BG's. Great, uh, chamber investor business there and providing and covering Guthrie with lots of good Blue Jay gear. Absolutely. So, They've been doing different sports, too. Yeah. they got tennis, golf, wrestling, you know, baseball, soccer, and I, football, of course. So, Wife had a shirt on the other day. We were watching some Guthrie baseball, and it was a shirt I didn't recognize. And I go, where'd you get that shirt? BG. BG's. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And they had the cool stuff there, yes. too. So. so shout out to them. Yeah, they're over Just here. Just right around the corner on um, Division. So... Um, I can't. I don't quote me, Miss Gillette. One hundred block, two hundred block, one hundred block. They've been open about six months, eight months, yeah. six, eight months. So they opened in football season. Remember, they so started at the shops. They did, and then graduated. Yes, I guess you graduated. can say yes, and uh, moved there to their 
more permanent location. So we're not missing any part of the parade. Bill's got the camera on us. I promise you, we're at a standstill for right now, which um, very rarely happens. But we do have our buttons on. We're we not do. Go we're not going to jail today. We're not going to jail. If you still need a button, there are several businesses that sell those, and of course, you can get them from the American Legion as well. And for those that collect the buttons, make sure you get this year's commemorative button. So my family's enjoyed collecting them since we've been here in Guthrie. So I think they're just five dollars. And uh, you get to support the American Legion in that way. So, yes, Chris and I are proud to, to wear our Strive gear and our, yes. our buttons today. So. By the way, thanks for getting it for me. I didn't want to be in jail You're on camera. Yeah. I got you. I'll be in Virginia and Tennessee and Hawaii. You had if a I busy get... week covering things and baseball tournament and things like that. So, I got you, Chris. Hey, I appreciate that. Yep. I knew we, we could not be without our buttons today. So. Of course, one of the big events uh, for Guthrie and for the Chamber is the big uh, – there's coffees every Wednesday, chamber coffees every Wednesday, but the biggest 89er coffee at Bank First. Yes, we had a lot of fun on Wednesday with Laverne Downing, president there, and his team, and they gave some fun things away. Laverne has like a never ending pocket. I know you weren't able to make it this year, but he had a never ending pocket of goodies nice. to, uh, to give away. <clears throat> I mean, just all kinds of things <laughs> coming out of his vest pocket. So anyway, yes, yeah, so we had the Queens there and, and breakfast by Job Corps. Yep. It was, it was a lot of fun, so. Hey, it says if you're down, make sure to stop and get some Guthrie Nutrition. Oh, mm. yes. I, I've seen some. I, 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 they're right around the corner from us, too. I've been seeing some, seeing some walking around. Miss Deanna from Eskridge there Chevrolet. Great Guthrie business that loves serving their community. And, uh, and a good-looking truck there. Chevy Silverado. If you need one of those, you can... Go see our friends at Eskridge Chevrolet. So, Miss Oklahoma Junior Teen, Olivia Sperry. Very Lydia cool. Sperry. Greg Randall watching from Big Rapids, Michigan. Wow. I bet it's warmer here than it is Michigan. Helping Community Claws, our friend Lisa New said she's watching from Guthrie. She's busy cleaning kennels and <laughs> doctoring some sick animals. I can see all that, yes. yes. Here's the Logan County Soccer Club future Blue Jays. There the, we go. The boys and the girls won their soccer game yesterday against Midwest City on senior night. The boys are hosting playoffs for the first time ever. Very cool. I love to see that program just yeah. uh, building, you know, getting better and better. And I bet there's, there's our little junior junior soccer players right there. Some so. future stars. There is Jennifer Bennett Johnson and Jaden Chapel, Logan County GOP. And a good looking vehicle there. Absolutely. So we're well balanced today. We have the Democrats earlier. We got the Republicans yes. now. We're, we're yes. fair and balanced here. That was a chair and vice chair. Yes, it so, is. Yes. More Logan County GOP representation there with a good looking float. Very patriotic. It is a great float. Yes. The flags are whipping today. Yes, that's for sure. But again, we'll take it. No umbrellas. So Christian Rods and Customs. Not sure where they're out of, but uh, glad to have them here Jackie. in the parade today. Yeah, sorry, Brittany. Jackie Hooten watching from Hawaii as well. Of course, okay. Let, let me oh, let me comment real yes, quick absolutely. on the judges' chambers. So the judges' chambers. This is uh, Judge Cotterell's home Bill. over on the west side on 13th Street, and uh, they're they're just representing today. The judges' chambers is having an open house today, right? After the parade and people that have been really wanting to tour the judges chambers can do that today as soon as the parade's over over on the west side on 13th street and right behind them so are the pied pipers bill pairing right behind them choir director there from guthrie high school pied pipers always offer a lot of entertainment so all right so this is representation from the guthrie renaissance festival if you missed the festival Mark your calendars for March of 2025. And here's a sneak peek. Here is a sneak peek. John Pagonis and his team uh, go all out here. Uh, costumes and the, the trebuchet. And I can't remember the trebuchet's name. John will have to forgive me, but it has a name. He promised they wouldn't be uh, launching anything off the trebuchet today okay. so we're grateful okay. for well, that we're safe and we'll probably get a better shot when they when they go a little bit further up the road a little wider shot of, of what this looks like but there's oh oh but wait there's more <laughs> there is there is more there's always more with john bill's gonna realize team. there's plenty more bill turn yes. around bill <laughs> 
Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So more here from the Guthrie Wren Festival is this pirate ship. There you go. You're getting a shot of it. Uh, worked hard there on the uh, pirate ship, and we have mermaids. Mermaids, mermaids. in the back. They're cold. They have yes, to be cold. They have to be cold. Make sure Bill gets the some mermaids. They're if they're going to be cold. They got it. So yeah, there, thanks. There they are. Thanks to John for bringing the Guthrie Wren Festival here. It's grown each year, and of course, John owns Guthrie Haunts too, and so providing entertainment for Guthrie and getting visitors here and. We absolutely love that. So yeah. So there's the big boat, a uh, ship, it is, I should the say. The ship, the, the pirate ship. ship. Yes. Ship to a tractor. Yes. You had to, you had to look real quick, but I promise you they were there. That's definitely got to be one of the most unique floats that we've had yes. today. So as long as it clears that yes. traffic light, we should be good. <laughs> <laughs> pirate flag might be a little close, but and it we're is clear. And we're good. <laughs> yeah. All right. is all is safe. So traffic's already crazy right now in downtown Guthrie. We don't need any more. No. So All right, so we got our friends from 405 Tractor there. By the way, the Oklahoma Avenue, many people were nervous about that. It seemed like two months ago that it would not be open. but And look, here we are. Here we are. It's here open. we are. It's amazing how it works. So. Josh Chapel leading the way, driving the vehicle. Yes. These are our friends from Companion Healthcare. Yes. Yes, I love those shirts, Companion. Those are super cool. They have the the uh, theme on their shirts this year. Another wonderful week could go on and on about all that Companion Healthcare has done here in Guthrie and is still doing and um, offering various services and uh, taking care of those in need and our elderly and uh, just a wonderful community partner. They sponsor things. They give back. We just we love having Companion. So and there's uh, Darby Sue Tomlinson. Yes, Miss Darby. Darby Sue, always. insurance agent, and uh, can help you uh, stay safe and insured there. Yeah, she's on the passenger side, so we won't get a close view of her, but her and her family driving there. It's our friends from Hope House here in Guthrie. Since 2020, a good yes. time to start, right? I know. God. Serving Hope moving I don't, forward. I don't recommend it. That's, <laughs> don't start a new job during the pandemic either. So there yes. is uh, <laughs> uh, Delisa for court clerk. She is running for court clerk. Uh, first, uh, the election will be in June. June 16th, I think. Yeah, sometime in June. It'll be somewhere. Um, you can vote for the court clerk. It's a fun tractor. Nice and slow ride there. <laughs> nice and easy. That's the speed. That's, by the way, that's the speed you should be going in the parade. Right. If you go by fast, we can't see you. We can't see. We've had a few zip on by. And our friends at Junk Be Gone, local business, uh, shout out Chamber Investor Business, providing roll off dumpsters and uh, keeping everybody, helping everybody clean and make their junk be gone. There uh -huh. you go. I see there what you, you did. Go. Play see on what words. They did there. Yep. Looking down toward the temple, which is the where it all starts, and there is still a line of entrance yes. entries coming our way. So we've got some more friends uh, watching. Uh, somebody from I do not okay, Dolores. I do not know how to pronounce that. Tija Choppy, California. Did I butcher that? From California. <laughs> from California. <laughs> yeah, so thank like you. you did a great job. Okay, to me. well, thank, I I mean. You probably would have butchered that even worse than me. Love you, but probably, yeah. it's, it's true. So no. <laughs> Let me see. Now you challenge okay. me. <laughs> Tia, Tia Choppy. Tia Choppy. Uh, get on your best behavior. Fortney's yes. watching. Okay. Um, Billy is a transplant. Okie watching from Kansas. Very cool. Love hey, to have you on. Look at this great float. First Baptist Church yes. here in Guthrie. Guthrie. Again. There's Reverend Hammonds. Yes. L been serving the community a long, long time. Yes. And... Uh, they feed people uh, around Thanksgiving. They have their big dinner that they do. Um, love having them in our community and, and serving the way that they do. Great float. Some more horses, some great dresses. I've seen a dress or two like that. Yeah. Um, what was sort that? Of. Sort of. Maybe at Christmas time, but, yeah, not, that's what it was. but not the same. No. But well, I mean, dress. Big yeah. dress. Big, dr <laughs> big dress. Big poofy dress. Yeah, I don't know what that's called. That's what I call it. The Timmons are always up for a costume. Uh, we always you love, all you, your love family loves costume. dressing up. Yes, yes so. they do. It's our friends from E-School. E-School, just uh, across the street from the drive-in. Yep. Right there on the corner. Oh, I didn't know they had a nice 
I knew about the SUV. I didn't know about the nice, the nice uh, new van. Van, yeah. E-school, eschoolacademy.org. Husky Turf Solutions. Yes, can, we can talk about uh, this chemicals. great local business as well. Uh, the Huskies love uh, Guthrie, love serving Guthrie with um, all sort of, of course, turf solution, turf lawn, and uh, pest control as well. And so there's uh, Mr. Aaron Husky himself, chamber investor business. Love, uh, you know, one thing I have to say about the Huskies too, uh, they did this at Christmas time, they do this throughout the year. They love sharing on their social other businesses. Yeah. They love, you know, promoting each other and lifting each other up and uh, complimenting and telling everybody about everybody else's businesses. And I love that. That's yeah. how community wins. So there's the scoot ski again, Sonny. He's made his second round. I think First Southern Baptist Church is next. Coming to your screen. Another it one of our indeed. great churches here in Guthrie. On the corner of They open up Wentz their facility Noble. all the time, you know, for people to practice and walk. and and uh, The Family Life Center? The Family Life Center. Yes. Yeah, I, was, I was waiting for my words to come to me. Yes, the FLC. I hate when that so happens. I know, but that's why, that's why we have each other. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, First Southern Baptist Church. We have some friends watching from New Trenton, Indiana. Wow. And uh, someone says, great ta job from uh, my home area of the 918 Tulsa. Yeah, that's Brian. So, <laughs> Brian, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Fortney said, well done. So okay. we, we've passed. Okay. We passed. Goals. We, we made it. Ready to go home? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite yet, Chris. I see some flashing lights, which usually, oh, Snickers. Yes, thank you. Tootsie Roll, that's my favorite. Oh, that, you can have yep. that one. Thanks. All right, our friends from Calera Academy. A great school here. A micro school located yes. in the Drexel Event Center here in Guthrie. Their enrollment is open for the upcoming school year, so check out their website, or you can stop at the chamber and actually get information about Calera there. So good to see the students out from Calera Academy. Levi said he's watching from the Territorial Riders Clubhouse. Cool. Always be part of a clubhouse. That'd be fun. Oh, uh, pitcher, Brittany. All right, <laughs> Candace watching from Lahaye Acres, Florida. So, yes, we are b love seeing all of uh, these folks watching from all over. Now, you can watch we're, on... We're almost covered coast to coast. Yes. Because Kentucky, okay. I think, is our farthest... East we haven't so had anybody far. from Florida yet. Oh, oh Florida, Florida. Never Florida, mind, Florida. Yeah. That so, wins. So, so I we, need to go back to geography class. We got our coast. Down. Yes, we do. We do. I think we're looking now for the northeast. See we, if we have anybody from up there. You can watch on Guthrie News Page Facebook, Guthrie News Page YouTube, and Facebook kind of gets lost. Like in three minutes, something else is going to be happening. But if you ever want to watch the archives of anything, the 2022, the 2019 parades. All those are a lot easier to find on the GMP YouTube page. Okay. So it, all the basketball games, football games, it's a lot easier on there. But uh, Next up, we have our friends from the Guthrie Job Corps. They've got some signs there on their bus of all the various uh, trades that they offer. Electrical, House plumbing. Wearing, plumbing, office admin, uh, security is a big one there. And uh, love having the Job Corps right here in Guthrie. Their students love serving the community. They get out. If you need help with any project, the Guthrie Job Corps loves to help. And mm. so there's our friend Terry Moore with Guthrie Job Corps. So thanks to the Job Corps for what they do in Guthrie. I got some cool cars coming. Uh. Uh, Buddha says, tell Stefan that the candy is for the kids. Mm. It's also for Chris and Brett. Yeah. Yeah. We got some, we got some candy. We've earned it. <laughs> yeah, we got, uh, there's a, uh, there's the candy. Well, Fortney earlier threw candy, like almost at my face. So peppermints. I'm glad, I'm glad I survived yeah, I got that. My, I know. I got my Fortney peppermint there in here. Yeah. Check out this sweet ride. Yeah, Bill. Check that out. Bill. There, there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody People, wants to see no, us. No, they do not. <laughs> do not. They do not want to see us. Yes. There it is. Repping the green there. Now we got the blue. Ooh, I, ooh. Which one's your favorite? I'm going green. I'm going green. I like the green. I don't know. The powder blue is kind of cool, too. I don't know where they're, where they're from. I'm trying to look at my notes here, but representing with some cool cars for sure. 
or you got the uh, the old school there. Yeah. Uh, uh, no J rod is what it said on the front. So. Okay. Yeah. Is that a hot rod? Would I get that right? Since you guys said J rod on the front. <laughs> what what <laughs> makes it a hot rod? Larry Nagel would be disappointed in my dad uh, if that I don't know this, but <laughs> <laughs> you don't know either. No. Okay, so do not ask Chris and I <laughs> no, car do questions. Not, no. <laughs> I barely know what a tire and a wheel is. You know where you can see some really cool trucks? Tell me, Brittany. This weekend, happening right now at the Cottonwood Flats. First time event uh, brought to Guthrie. It's called the Truck Gathering. As of yesterday, about 350 trucks are expecting a almost 1,000. Wow. I don't remember the exact years, but it's older trucks. I want to say it's before like 2000. Some, 2000. And so I might have that year wrong, but uh, lots of people down there. So we welcome the truck gathering to Guthrie, and they have already planned to be back in 2025. Okay. So we love having them here. Um, they're visiting here. They're staying here. They're, you know, hanging out in Guthrie, and we love it. There's people from all over out for the truck gathering. So if you want to, after the parade, go down to the flats. They've got some food trucks, and it's free to attend. The truck gathering, so definitely go down and check out some cool trucks there. 2025 feels like five years from now. It does. But Literally, it's next year. It's next year. So. Custom autos by Tim. All these yep. stretched out trucks. Wow. This is not amazing. We've I mean, had a this lot of folks in there. Yeah, that is, that is uh, I've rode in one of those uh, things before. It is <laughs> something else. So. Yeah, it's like not a limo. And they have a huge, a yeah, they have a huge YouTube presence too. Okay. Huge cool. YouTube presence. I don't know if it's supposed to be spitting out the black smoke like that, but... Again, we're not car people. I'm not car people. That might so, be, that might be yeah. the cool thing. Our friends from Better Day Plumbing, making a bad day better. So, need plumbing services. Uh, they are veteran-owned and operated. So, give Better Day a call for all your plumbing needs. I see the parade of fire trucks coming up, which usually singles the end of the parade. It's going to get really loud. And we're, luckily, is. we have headsets. It will help us out It'll a bunch. It will help us out, but there's some more friends from Better Day. Well, this so. is... Um, oh, on the toilet. On, on the job. On the job, on the toilet. Oh, my gosh. That is hilarious. He's got a very large... <laughs> Easy. <laughs> What's that called? Uh, you're on Plunger. Your own. Yeah, there you go. You're you on your couldn't own. think of it either. I was going to say I didn't know where you were going. I toilet. Gonna, I was going to let you have it all by yourself. The large toilet with the large plunger. Mm. So anyway, for a better story. day. For a better day. Watching from Yukon, Oklahoma, Shelly. I had a friend grew up in Mustang and he drove a Yukon. And then he, oh, grew up, then he, drew, then he moved to Yukon and drove, drove a Mustang. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's funny. First Assembly Ministries there. Noah's Ark Child Care. You better be on your best behavior news. right now. That's yeah, watch you, out. You better, yes. You better. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Jesus giving out candy? I'll take a Snickers. Yeah. He's giving out love. We know that. There you so. go. All right. And Zeb our friends Robbins. from Guthrie, Guthrie Fire, Department. Fire Department. There's Zibber. There he is. With brush pumper number one there. We'll probably see some more friends from Guthrie Fire down the way. Yeah, so. I think so. There's our friends from Langston Fire just down the way there in the chief vehicle. Yeah, it's going to get crazy loud. Aaron, if he can turn down that crowd mic, I think that would probably help our uh, seven. Just our viewers I think that a little bit. They can get the crowd noise from our microphones, so... Langston Fire. Yeah, well, oh, it, it, they're watching us oh, right there. Oh, wow. Bill, I don't know. You guys get Bill uh, can show that in there. You guys get bonus points for showing your. They have the GNP <laughs> live stream inside cool. of their fire truck. They, they win. They win a gold star. Thank you, Langston. Yes. Zeb Rob is getting shout outs on the YouTube feed. My husband said he has made it back home and, and watching live. The so. mayor. It's all <laughs> good, Cedar Valley. You are you yes. are taken care of. Is yes. there an acting acting mayor when he leaves I city don't limits? Know. I don't know. Earth they, Meridian. Volunteer fire department. 
some cuties hanging out there, enjoying that. That's a fun ride. They're there, right there in the back. Yes. <laughs> okay, the horn works. Thank you. Yep, Thank you. Thanks, Coil. <laughs> <laughs> Our friends just down the road. Coil Fire. You know, we have a lot of volunteer fire departments in Logan County. Fourteen. Fourteen. I knew you would knew that know that number, <laughs> and uh, so grateful for them keeping our county safe with uh, medical and fire and emergency calls and literally couldn't be covered um, without all of these great yeah, servicemen and women. When you talk about Orlando, Langston, Coyle, Guthrie, Mesk, we'll get there, but maybe not as fast as those guys right, right there. And do. these are volunteers, yes, you know, are. on their own time and leave their homes and whatever they're doing and stop everything. My husband served at Oak Cliff for 17 years and I know what that's like. And so we thank you all so much for volunteering and, and serving our county. Cody Knox says, love me some Zeb. Zeb's getting a lot of love on here. <laughs> I do think we had some friends, you know, like you kind of mentioned before, maybe just due to the weather and things, not, not be able to join us. So yeah. we're thankful no, no rain, but... Hopefully you can come back next year if you weren't able to join with this year. So Twin Lakes Fire Department, again, representing another part of the county. Oh, wow, Brent, you'll like that. Our friend Justin sent that from us. That's at the pub. Oh, I like that. At the Greens Launch Pub. Yes. Yes, a great place uh, to uh, go and enjoy an adult beverage or play their golf simulator. My family likes that. Well, right Kids now, can go, too. Right now, you're yep. not playing golf because our, our stream is on the big screen. Oh, they're, oh, I see what you're yeah. showing me. Okay, well, cool after the that? parade, you can play some golf on their simulator. So thank you to our friends at the Greens Launch Pub for showing the broadcast. So. Unofficially, I got the course record at the uh, pub launch. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Woodcrest Fire. They got the their Dalmatian there. It's a good-looking brush pumper there, Woodcrest. Here comes Engine Two, representing the south part of the county. Are we going to get a? Are we going to get a uh, Chief? Chief Young, I Chief think. Young? Is that Chief Young? Are we going to get him today? Let's see. Let's see. Did he grace us with his presence? I oh, see. I see the shades. I see. I see the shades. Chief there he, Young, look at there that huge he is. smile. I know. That's a huge smile for him. I know. I'm a little partial. You know that he was a groomsman in my wedding. I did not he, know that. Chief Young was. So okay. Shout out to Chief Young. Known him a long, long time. Uh, is he smiling in the wedding pictures? I think so. For him. I'll have to look. It's yeah. been 16 years. Him, I'll have to look back. So. Yeah. Anyway, those are some great looking trucks there. Woodcrest. Sure Happy are. to have them. They've got the great station and uh, lots of good changes happening out there at Woodcrest Fire Department. Would you rather walk the parade or ride on top? I'm trying to think of warmth. Which one's oh. warmer? I would say this year walking, and that and that bunker gear is probably a good thing. Yeah. Today. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, today. it's a good thing today. Hopefully, that's the only reason he'll need to wear it today. Yes. That's that's our hope. So. And it's our friends Sooner from Sooner. Sooner. Fire. Yep. Some more cuties, family cuties that get to ride in these trucks. So. Oh, but with the SCBAs, so they yeah. Oh that's, yeah. That's all, tough. all in today. That's they are all in today. So you like how I know those terms? I don't know cars, Very but good. I yes. I got down my fire my fire. And when they terms. when they go off you gotta <laughs> shake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So oh we still have quite a quite yeah. a few vehicles rolling in. So. I still see them at the temple. Yep. Or maybe they're they're we'll just have to see. It'll be a surprise for us. LC Jewel, love our first responders. Commenting on our YouTube feed. So right after this, Chris, if uh, you got a good-looking beard or mustache, you can Ooh. hand over, I think it's at 2 o'clock, the Grand Old Barber Shop located downtown. You can head over to the Beard and Mustache Contest, and they've got some cool prizes this cool year. Concept. So Very cool concept. Yeah. So, and if you need your beard trimmed, well, you might be too late, but you can get in there, stay after, and have one of the great barbers there do that. So that was our uh, small business of the year. 
uh, for the chamber. So go over and check out the contest there. Two o'clock. So if you're watching locally, that's in 30 minutes. You can just go there and check it out. You could, yeah. yeah. Go check out. Maybe wish that your beard or mustache yeah. looked as cool as some of theirs. Chief so. Ware, we going to see you sooner. Sooner. Another one of our volunteer departments. Got some more family members in there. <laughs> he brought his helmet, but not his jacket. The tanker so. looks to be full. Yeah. Uh. And there, I have to give a shout out to uh, Jerry Gamel. Dennis He's a, Oaks. Yes, coming Dennis up. Oaks. Those two work so hard on the parade. So thank you for all that they do uh, to organize and get this going. It is it is a big, big job. Job, Dennis Oaks. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Another one down. Another parade down. And we made it. No rain. The wind really wasn't too bad for us. So. Yeah, so we were starting to look about Monday-ish. And it was like 60% chance of rain and... 57 degrees. Yeah. And it's slowly. This broadcast didn't look like it was going to go yeah, well, it well. Or at all. No. <laughs> no, we would have done it. Right. We would have had the cameras on. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. We You're might never have been indoors somewhere. Indoor somewhere, I don't know yes. if we had the angles that right. we want. Bill would have been right. wet and it wouldn't it have been good. It wouldn't have been good. He, so. needs, he needs to go to the uh, beard contest. Yes. Nope. Are oh, you right heading there. to the beard? Yes, yeah. Bill. Right. Here's an example right yes. here. There's the, there's Are you heading over to the beard and mustache contest? Oh, he's the champ. He's the reigning champ. Okay, well, best of luck to you, sir. Best of luck. At the Grand Old Barbershop. Good Boy. spot there. Yeah. Wow, right. Rainy, so. He needs some sort of a sash. So Raining chance. Yeah, he's going to try to go back to back. <laughs> and I got to tell you, good luck trying to beat that guy. That I mustache. Know. That was awesome. So Very anyway, cool, yeah. So, so that's, that's coming up. And then... Um, of course, the, we talked about the carnival being open now, and the food trucks, the rodeo tonight, Sheriff Devereaux. It's rumored to be back on there. We're saying a prayer for you. I don't think he's going to learn a lesson. I don't I don't know how many injuries. I mean, well, his injuries haven't been from rodeo, but I need, I'm need. i a little worried. <laughs> yes. I know his wife, April, is a little worried. <laughs> because but. when you ride a bull, you're going to come off no matter what. You can ride it for eight perfect seconds, right. but you still got to come off. So we'll see. So if you want to get tickets and get out for that, that is tonight at the Logan County Fairgrounds uh, right off of Division. There are some vendors and some food trucks there as well. Um, family fun. Of course, it is outdoors. So when I mention that, yep. people may think it's indoors. It is outdoors. So uh, bundle up. But if the weather holds off, it should be a great event. Absolutely. So, a lot of fun. And yeah. uh, we mentioned the parade or the carnival tonight. Two sessions. You can go right now. But do remember at five or six o'clock, one of those two times, they switch over to some other bands and they take you all the way to the closing time. So today is the last day for the carnival. And uh, if you love baseball, yes. uh, they get, get three high school 89er baseball tournament is going today. The championship game. I think the Blue Jays are getting ready to get on the field right now. So uh, there are three games left the rest of the day if you want to catch up some baseball. Have the, the, are they having the old-timer baseball game? You know, I've seen that. I don't yeah. know where, though. I can't remember what time. Yeah. Cottonwood Flats. Cottonwood Flats. This afternoon. Yes. Yeah. This afternoon. You can go out to the truck gathering and then that game as well. And people play base. The guys play baseball in old-time uniforms. Yes. It's, so, yeah. it's very cool. It's yes. very cool. So uh, before I forget, a big, big thank you to Eric Little, Steph Hartzell, and Justin Forney for helping out with this canopy. It was uh, – uh, it looked promising about 9.30 this morning. Right. And, uh, one of my cameras. Um, There's always uh, something. Oh, we took a little tumble. We'll see how that <laughs> works out. But uh, big thank you to them for, for helping us here. Of course, uh, big thank you to Bill. He's holding the camera right now uh, looking at us. He has done this for many, many years with us and uh, one of the best who does it. Yeah, and then Aaron right here behind us. So <laughs> he's <laughs> literally ducking. But Aaron with City of Guthrie is always a huge, huge help. And he made some great promo videos this week with the Queen. Yes. And every event, I think, was, was I covered. That. And so that was uh, super cool and great job by Aaron Ryburn with the City of Guthrie. So anything else we need to cover? A big thank you to Justin Forney and the city for, you know, helping us out with some extra stuff here for, for our setup as well today. Public Works, Public Guthrie works. PD, the yes. Sheriff's Office. There is so much behind the scenes. You know, a lot of times people ask, and even my office, they'll say, why can't something go this way? In fact, Bill, if you want to turn the camera around, we have our friends from, uh, from Public Works. 
right here, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, good timing. We didn't even we didn't even plan that. Picking it all up from behind. They're like, <laughs> yes. get that camera off yes. of me. <laughs> so. Yes. There is so much that goes in behind the scenes. And like I said, people will ask, you know, why can't this be moved? Or why can't this happen? Yeah. It, I've even had people say, well, what if the parade could happen on Sunday? It's not that easy, folks. No. no. <laughs> There's a, a lot that goes on and, and it can't just be switched that quickly. So huge shout out to uh, to these guys right here for for what they do to uh, to make this happen and so and also of course the american legion for putting on the event all the committee members um a lot of, again that goes behind the scenes they start meeting like nine ten months in advance yes uh to to prepare so and also to the city crews all all this stuff happens weeks before the parade as you said even months uh but Fixing the potholes, painting lines and handicap lines, and just trying to make Guthrie look beautiful. As again, it is the state's largest parade, right. so uh, they do a great job of trying to make everything go smooth as possible. Uh, thank you to the contractors for putting in the sidewalks. They, you know, I have know. to walk around this day because. Uh, Congratulations, you won the award. Now, listen, there's a little thing that's going to happen in <laughs> a April. A little thing that everybody's <laughs> going to get really nervous about if you don't get these sidewalks yes. done and open. So, yes, I know, you know, hang in there, everybody. I know it's difficult with school. I've got kids, too, with dropping off kids and getting through the traffic and the construction. But it's going to be worth it. Yes. And it's just we have to go through that to, to have nice things. So, anyway, um, again, thanks to everybody who helped put on 89ers, whether it was your business contributing in some way through a sponsorship, a donation, um, an event you planned. And it definitely takes a village, and we're happy uh, to uh, work together as a community. So get out today. There's still plenty of time to enjoy 89er Absolutely. fun and the vendors and the food trucks and rodeo and truck. All, all of it. All of it. So. And a big thank you to Brittany for uh, for helping us out this year. And uh, you might have a permanent spot here. Phil, watch out. Me. Yeah, and watch out, Phil. But, uh, or maybe a third mic. No. Of course, everybody knows Brittany, but uh, she's the chamber CEO, president here, and Guthrie's done a great job. Thank you. A little you. over four years now, right? Well, just, just April 6th was four years four for years. me. So, yes, yeah, it's time is – sometimes it doesn't seem that – that's gone that fast, and then other times it does. Yeah. So, yeah, we're – chamber's growing, and um, lots of new businesses coming to town, and just a lot of work. Over 400. Over 400 chamber investors, uh, yes. And so we're uh, working together to make a better Guthrie and, and happy to do it. So thanks for having me on today. Absolutely. Um, I, I was really nervous, but no. I, had, I had a lot of fun. So. I know you kill <laughs> drill it. Uh, yeah. Hey, a big, big thank you to all the folks out there watching it from across the uh, U.S. And uh, uh, we saw some countries in there as well. I'm not sure if spammers yeah. got in or not. But, uh, hope not. Uh, well, well, hope not. But uh, big thank you for you guys, too. Uh, and a lot of people go back and watch this replay. A lot of people, more people watch the replay than they do watch it live. But uh, a big thank you to you folks out there watching it as well. One more time, a big thank you to Aaron Ryburn behind us for producing Bill Miracle on our, our wireless camera as and well. And to Strive Wellness Lounge. And to yes. Strive Wellness Lounge. You powered all this. They uh, literally powered all of our equipment, uh, give us all what we need out in front of, of their business. And be sure to stop. They are open right now. Uh, you can come in and see their friendly puppies and uh, uh, B12 and shots, IVs, uh, constant, and they can help you with uh, whatever you may have. So. A uh, big, big thank you to them. So that'll do it here from beautiful downtown Guthrie. Yet another 89er parade uh, in the books. 2024 was a good one. Thank you, Weather, for holding off. Yes. We'll do it again next year. In <laughs> Stay 20 safe, everyone. Yes. Have fun. We'll do it in 2025. Brittany Tim is on Chris Evans. So long. Thanks for watching the live stream broadcast of the 95th annual 89ers Day Parade from beautiful downtown Guthrie, America. The live stream of today's parade was powered by Strive Wellness Lounge. Elevate your well-being by visiting them online at strivewellnesslounge.com.